Topic, Reflections on the Reawakening East Bertrand Russell Asif Seemab Sindhu Est Professor English Dadk Russell His Life and Ideology Bertrand Arthur William Russell, 3rd Earl Russell The 18th of May 1872, the 2nd of February 1970 British philosopher, logician, mathematician historian and social critic, an anti-war activist, anti-imperialist, for nuclear disarmament, criticized Soviet totalitarianism, and the United States of America's involvement in the Vietnam War. Nobel Prize in Literature 1950. Russell in this chapter, a profound historian, an advocate of peace and prosperity to the world in general and to Asia in particular, an anti-communist, an opponent of war, believer of heterogeneous cultures, reservations with industrialization and science, staunch believer of the importance of aestheticism, performing arts and fine arts in human life, an optimist in an uncertain and hostile world, Russell historian. The History of Alterations of Power Between East and West A. Ancient Eastern Cultural and Political Supremacy I. Indus Civilization, Mohenjo Daro 4,500 years back 2. Persian Empire, Greek contemporaries established by Cyrus the Great in 6th century B. C. 522 to 486 B. First phase of European dominance. I. Greek civilization. 2. Alexander and his conquests. 3. Roman Empire, second phase of Eastern supremacy. Fall of the Roman Empire. Great Caliphate of Mohammedan world. Chinese Empire, Tang Dynasty. The Dark Ages. Al Andalus, Spain. New Western imperialism. Second Phase of European Dominance New Western Imperialism Pioneers I. Christopher Columbus 2. Vasco da Gama B. Domination through advancement of science and technology East was outdistanced from the beginning of 16th century. Western conquests and influences dominated the world till 19th century. Europe enfeebled again. German and other Occidental Wars Emergence and Execution of Communist Philosophy, 1917 Red Revolution Russell on Communism Most Modern and Virulent Form of Western Imperialism Degraded Form of Western Culture Moscow and Peking Alliance, The Threat to Europe If Asia reawakens, should not follow Communism because it is detrimental to humanity and civilization. Russell on Industrialization A. A source for preserving independence and being powerful as 19th century England and USSR and USA of today B. Redundant protests I. Protests in England 2. Thomas Carlyle's, 1795-1881, Past and Present A direct response to the economic crisis of the 1840s 3. Gandhi's Philosophy and Movement of Spinning Wheel The most significant unifying symbol of the nationalist movement in India. Russell on war most sinister camouflaged in scientific advancements. b. What Asian countries should do Not to turn struggle for independence into war or desire for conquest. To remain impartial if the Third World War breaks out between superpowers, USSR and USA. To value their own traditional civilization and not to be swamped by any Western thinking. Russell on cultural uniformity. Trifle and absurd to think Asia as a unity and an only opposition to Western imperialism. No civilization has ever been so cosmopolitan, universal. Three distinct Asian civilizations Islam, India, China. Russell's panoramic view of the world's horizon condemns 
the lust of power over other human beings. The militaristic mechanization. No exploitation of other nations through control over energy resources. Ingenuity. A relation of mutual respect. Uncertainty, apprehension and hope are rational but it is only hope which is beneficial.